All right. My name's Travis. I went to the San Diego Epilepsy Conference. It's my second year there supporting uh, my girlfriend, Melissa, who has epilepsy. Um, we had a great time. We got back. It was about five hours. Um, they had two keynote speakers, and then we went off to uh, two separate uh, smaller uh, meetings where they covered uh, specific topics, and so you could kind of pick and choose which ones uh, that you wanted to choose from. Uh, another great year. I uh, really enjoyed all the, the topics and conversations that you had, uh, that we had. Um, yeah, overall, just uh, lunch was pretty good, and we just had a fun time. Yeah, sponsors are always interesting. You know, the first thing that happens is you walk in and you're surrounded by uh, pharmaceutical, phar pharmaceutical companies, uh, biotech, um, uh, devices, surgical operations, and you know when you get there, it says here's all our sponsors. It's all these big name brands. So you know sometimes you 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 wonder about the content that they produce. Um, for example, there's uh, some new CBD evidence that came out that FDA is reconsidering the uh, the classification and making that a, uh, a you know something that doctors and your your physician can prescribe to. Uh, epilepsy patients, uh, you know, that was big news and that happened about a month or yeah, a little over a month ago And what do you know that company is there? They are the number one sponsor. They were listed big bright and bold at the front and they had one of their Topics covered their their findings. So sometimes you wonder that you know, hey do these little that do the keynote speakers You know, maybe it should be uh, brought to you by this advertiser brought to you by, brought to you by this biotech company because you just never know what type of information is being provided uh, and, and backed up with money behind it but otherwise it was a great you know great time and a lot of times you just have to, to hear that information and make your own interpretation about it and then bring it up with your own physician or neurologist and have that conversation Well, it's tough. I think if you want to have a conference, an epilepsy conference, the money has to come from somewhere. So it's either going to come from private donors who are uh, anonymous and you won't know who they are, uh, or they got to come from from uh, Big Pharma. Um, and if they don't have the private investors, then they have to go to these pharmaceutical companies and get money from them. So it is tough because you, you know, without these pharmaceuticals sponsoring it, we actually may not have that event. There may not be the coverage and support that we get year long from them. So you kind of have to take it as what it is and just understand that they are gonna be part of it. I wish it was less of an emphasis of those products being there. From the pharmaceutical standpoint, they have to get their, their brand out there. They have to get their product out there. Um, hopefully they're doing it with the right idea of, of wanting to help and not coming at it from the financial standpoint, but it's, you know, those lines get blurred at, at many times. Just keep going, keep keep doing your own research, keep trying new things. Um, just because the doctor or your physician says one thing doesn't mean that that's, that, that that's always gonna be the result. So just keep testing on yourself, keep doing your own research. There's always new products, new technologies that are coming out. So if something's not on the market for you today, well, maybe explore some organic or natural uh, remedies or things that you can try. And then, you know, maybe in a couple of years, there, there will be a right technology or there will be a right uh, medication that you, that you can take.